All right, let's bring in North Carolina's Dances Attorney to General. Till the dog stops her, but go ahead. Now the Oops. Democrat Party's Democratic Party's nominee for governor, Josh Stein. Mr. Attorney General, thanks for being with us this morning. We can talk about your opponent in a moment, but first let's talk about you, how you won in North Carolina. You've done it before as Attorney General, beating a Republican in 2016 to get your job as Attorney General. How do you run into Democrat in the state of North Carolina and win? You talk about what you want to do to help people. And if you're trying to solve the opioid epidemic or you're trying to make neighborhoods safer or you're trying to improve our public schools so that our kids can, can learn and get the skills they need to succeed or you were trying to make our health care system work so that people can access and afford the care that they need. If you work on real problems that make a difference in people's lives, voters will give that uh, give you credit for that. And uh, what's interesting in North Carolina is the largest voting bloc are unaffiliated. It's unaffiliated, then Democrats, then Republicans. And so people really aren't interested in the partisan labels. They just want results. Attorney General Stein, this is Eddie Glaude. So you're right to talk about these particular issues, but what do you do when you have an opponent like Robinson? How do you muster the kind of response to what will come out of that campaign? I know Josh Shapiro congratulated you last night. He ran against Mistriano, who was a similar kind of candidate. How will you, in terms, in terms of Robinson, how will you respond to what you know inevitably is coming down the pike? Well, the, the voters of North Carolina could not have a starker choice in front of them. And what our duty, our obligation as a campaign is to make sure that people have the information they need in order to make the right choice. I, I have spent my entire career fighting for people and delivering for them, whereas he fights the job killing culture wars. And that's why we're out there trying to get as many resources in the door as we can. And if people want to learn more and support our efforts, uh, joshstein.org. Mr. Attorney General, uh, congratulations on yesterday. Um, but as just noted, President Biden, at least at this moment, has a pretty deeply underwater his poll ratings in your state. Um, talk to us about how you want to navigate that going forward. Would you want President Biden to be there campaigning with you? I'm excited for the president to come in and win North Carolina. He, he has been laser focused on restarting the economy, and we've seen it with massive investments, whether it's EV battery manufacturers or EV manufacturers or car, uh, silicon chip manufacturers. So a lot of great stuff is happening, but we're applying for different jobs. He's applying to the voters to be rehired. I'm applying to the voters to be hired as governor. And so my obligation is to make my case on why I want to do this job, what I feel like I can deliver for the people of North Carolina and, and why they should ultimately hire me. Hi, um, it's Jennifer Palmieri. It's good to see you. Uh, I know a little bit about uh, your state. i uh, worked on some campaigns there, too. Uh, my understanding is, I mean, I have two questions. One is, how are North Carolinians feeling about the Republican, the supermajority of the Republican state legislature that passed a 12-week abortion ban, um, you know, among other things, overrode uh, Governor Cooper's veto of that? Um, and also, you know, so how, how are folks feeling that, uh, about that, you know, that Republican legislature and also, the state, my understanding is the state has become, since 2020, um, more college educated, more urban. You know, how, how have there been demographic changes uh, that are relevant to your race, too? Thank, thanks, Jennifer. Well, you hit on a, a really interesting theme in North Carolina politics is there's an inherent sense of balance in the electorate. They don't like it when one party has all three branches or they don't like to vote the same party on president and governor. You know, it's interesting, North Carolina, seven of the last eight elections for governor, the people have chosen a Democrat. In seven of the last eight elections for president, they chose a Republican. It's just the sense of balance. And what we have right now is a Republican General Assembly that is off the rails. They, they are so far to the right. They are beyond what the electorate wants. Uh, you all mentioned the 12 week restriction that they passed on abortion last summer, overriding the governor's veto. Uh, and they're not done. They are it, crystal clear. The playbook is right in front of us. They want to eliminate abortion in North Carolina with no exceptions, not for rape, not for incest, not for the life or health of the mother. That is the position of my opponent. And if he wins, he will go there and the legislature will go there because of course they have gerrymandered maps that keep them from being held accountable. Uh, 
if I'm the governor, I will veto any further restrictions on women's reproductive freedoms. Uh, so we've got a lot of hard work to do, but I, I think we can get it done. And there is a changing electorate here in North Carolina. And I think that that will only underscore people's upset and, and anger at the legislature for going too far to the right and, and their rejection of Mark Robinson's fringe extremism. Final question for you, Mr. Attorney General, and as you understand, the most important in the state of North Carolina, Saturday, 630, Carolina Duke at Cameron. Who you got? Oh, this is not fair. Who you got? I, I know. Hey, look, I, I grew up going to Carmichael Auditorium and watching mm. Michael Jordan, uh, wow. James Worthy, full forward. Uh, I, I'm cheering for the heels on Saturday. All right, go okay. Heels. I think that's yeah. probably yeah. the right answer. Yeah. Democratic probably. nominee yeah. for North Carolina governor, the state's attorney general, Josh Stein. Congratulations on your win last night. We'll be watching you here in the general. Thanks for your time. Kurt. Thanks very much.